We're looking back at this storm and finding out new information. It's historic in nature when it comes to weather history, but this has certainly wrecked a portion of the beach resort of Acapulco. A survivor of the historic storm, it was a Category 5, is now sharing this apocalyptic view. It comes from the 21st floor of the Solar Ocean Hotel. It was basically destroyed. Vicious winds came in, blew apart the building. The person who shot this video says they don't even know how they survived it. And tragically, it's reported that at least 27 people were killed during this storm. Four others do remain missing. The main road to Acapulco is open. It's got just minor closures. They were able to get the debris out of the way and electricity and internet is now being restored. So we're getting more and more information about 8,000 military are on the ground. This storm, it, it was a small tropical storm. About 24 hours before landfall, we're looking at this. We're like, maybe it's a category one for Acapulco. Keep an eye on it. All of a sudden, the satellite imagery and data that had been given to us uh, was not sufficient because the hurricane was then observed, um, the atmosphere was observed by the recon flight, brought in more data. All of a sudden, the rapid intensification that the National Hurricane Center had hinted at was full-blown and a very little warning window for Acapulco. Yes, and as it approached, it continued to, to intensify. Patricia, back in 2015, that one weekend, it was also a powerful storm. And prior to Otis, that was the strongest one from the Eastern Pacific to make this landfall. But unique about Otis, too, the, the forecast, it's a cone of uncertainty. There's uncertainty, but it called for, for maybe this storm to, to almost hug the coastline or, or, or trend north of Acapulco. But no, this was a worst case scenario, especially when you look at the wind damage that we see out of, out of this city. Look at that eye, though. And as it approached the land, important to note here, the bay of Acapulco located here. Then you've got mountains surrounding the bay. The fact that we had that eye just to the south and east of Acapulco meant that you had more of that offshore flow and and that helped with the surge it didn't do anything though amy when it comes to the the winds the winds were still very strong and and it's evidenced by some of this video that we're getting in and and we'll learn i think i'm sure much worse news as we go throughout the next week or so but in acapulco itself this has never happened in recorded history and and not to mention this was a cat five hurricane I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.